Second and nine. Wigman into the end zone. Touchdown Aggies! Noah Thomas. They went 85 yards in a little over three minutes, Lewis. You see New Mexico bringing pressure, bringing five. They have man-to-man -man across the board. Noah Thomas, you know, what you're talking about a guy who's 6'6", 200 pounds, going up against Christian Ellis. They go on that slot fade, yeah. and he puts it right where he needs to, Connor Wegman to Noah Thomas. That's the kind of start. That's the fast start we're talking about. Saturday of college football on ESPN and across the country. One of my favorite times of the year. Lewis, I even put on my old school ring yeah, you got, to I commemorate know the moment. Hey, man, it, it's, hard, it's easy to get caught up in this. It's easy. That's why you love college football. If I had a class ring, I'd wear mine. <laughs> Wide open. Touchdown. Evan Stewart. yards to start the second quarter from Connor Wigman you see it Noah Paula Gates he doesn't have a safety in the middle of the field and you see him jump outside on Evan Stewart who just gives him a stick move outside and he just takes it to the middle of the field but Paula Gates is having a rough go of it early on in this football game and Evan Stewart is showing you why he's one of the best wide receivers in the country previous gain of 22 on the prior play and right now you sense that this team has a little bit of a rhythm offensively exactly because the passing game is starting to work off of the running game they haven't abandoned it you see right there they move the pocket run a little boot action they fake the jet sweep nice move by Merritt and on his own Merritt scores a touchdown good block by Erickson and the Lobos have struck on the 27 yard scamper I mean, that's that's just nice action and part of this play design, you're going to see him here fake the jet sweep. And then here, he just hands it off. And you see the jump cut behind the line of scrimmage by Krosky Merritt. And then you see the straight line speed. They said he needed to play a big, big football game. Mm. And he needed to be the guy who really sustained his energy throughout the course of this game. And the offensive line got a hat on a hat, made some good blocks. Now they're right back in this football game. Boy, big, big score for the Lobos. On the 14th rushing touchdown of Merritt's career man that jump cut was impressive you pointed out he's been doing a lot of ladder drills play against the Miami Hurricanes who were impressive and they're open second and 11 coming up Wigman looks back the other way taking a shot touchdown what a grab Thomas and a gritty for the city What a catch. You see here, Noah Thomas this time says, hey, Jamarius Lewis, you want to come in the game and play some of your teammate Noah Paula Gates? I'll give you some of this work, too. Wow. I'll run the same route on you, the slot fade. I'll have Connor Wigman just put it up there, and I'll use my 6'6 frame to just beat you at the catch point. They have no answer for him right now. They have absolutely no answer for Noah Thomas. You could almost... And right now, you're just going to keep running the yeah. same play. Noah Thomas with his second touchdown tonight. 34 yarder you can almost hear him say hey I got a little one it's too little two and the meters running Mark I'm telling you this offensive mm -hmm. line right now is starting to tee off you see right there the left side Trey Zoom the tight ends Jake Johnson Max Wright they're just getting pushed at the point of attack getting New Mexico's defensive linemen getting their shoulders turned just creating scenes in the secondary right now. I'm telling you, if you're Tavian Combs right now, you're going, hey, come on now. Mm. Give me some help up front because they're starting to gash them and starting to lean on them and impose their will. Backs lining up out of the eye. Moss is the deep back. Wigman juggled the snap. It didn't matter. Touchdown, Moss. Ooh. 
And the Aggies continuing to roll offensively in one of the time-honored traditions here after a score, a touchdown. For Moss, that's his second rushing touchdown of his career in another look. That's a nice job by Connor Wigman of making sure that he gets that ball from Bryce Foster and doesn't botch that snap because that came awful close to getting the, putting the ball on the ground. Used up just 2.02 on the clock, moved at 38 yards for the touchdown. They lead by 21, and boy, Wigman is authoring a wonderful season opener. Sometimes when they sent Fiber Moore, run a zero blitz, send Tavian Combs off the edge, what happens? Connor Wigman just, just throws a dime under pressure. So right now, New Mexico's trying. They're trying to pull out all the stops, send some different looks at this offense, but the quarterback has had all the answers and the playmakers on the edges. I mean, wow, these wide receivers have just been lighting it up. Thomas to the top of your screen at 6-6. Wigman looking into the end zone to Thomas, and he catches it again. Touchdown, Aggies. Had a little one on him. I mean, when you have Noah Thomas against the safety, and this time it's Christian Ellis, and he gets you squared up and has a two-way go on you like he has right there. Although Christian Ellis, you see, he's trying to take inside leverage, but you see where his eyes were? They're in the backfield. Mm. The reason why he's looking in the backfield because he's not confident reading the route. So he's just trying to look at the quarterback, hoping the quarterback gives him some kind of signal. Wow. And at that point, the wide receiver has you exactly where he wants you. That's his third touchdown of the day. He only had two last season, Matt Berry. What's up? And Josh Berry earned his starting job over Tony Grimes in this training camp. And it's plays like that as to why he did. From 27 yards out, Chris Wickey knocks this one through. The yeah, he's playing like one of the best quarterbacks in the country. And I know, again, I'm not it's not the, about the level of competition. It's about his efficiency, especially in these blitz situations, these high-pressure situations. Here, he just fades away from the rush off of his blind side. If he just, like, maybe flattens that ball out a little bit, that's another touchdown. Just put a little too much air under it. He completed the last six in a row before that third and goal. Wigman right back at it. Touchdown. This time, they make the connection. Stewart. Look, mm. when you have guys like Bobby Petrino and you have guys like Jimbo Fisher who call plays as long as they have, when they find a matchup, they're just going to keep exploiting it. And they're wide receivers against the safeties, against the wolf position players on this football team. This time it happens to be Tavian Combs, who's their Lobo safety. When you play off coverage against four and five star wide receivers and you give them two way goes, and I understand you're trying to take inside leverage here down on the goal line and give them a one way go, keep developing them. If you this is how you've been, you build championship program. You can keep them from leaving, too. That's right. That's right. To the sideline, complete. Nice catch by Thomas. Doing a little work after the catch to pick up the first down at about the 14-yard line. Yeah, you got Owens, you got Daniels, you got Moss in the backfield. And, boy, distributing the carries can be tricky, I would think, at times. But, well, now that Jimbo Fisher has given the play calling away. You can stay connected to things like that a little bit easier. They run it into the boundary. This is Owens again. Picked up a yard on the play. Clock running with 8.13 now to go. You know, it's interesting, man. Now you got Noah Thomas, who's already put in like a half a season's worth of work and already today, he's still playing out there. He moved from the slot out to the uh, split end position. Moose Muhammad, they're trying to get him some reps in there. Now, Anaya Smith comes back in. Noah Thomas goes out. I mean, they're just loaded, man. They, right. But they've got to keep this core healthy. They've kind of keep Anaya's healthy all year long. Noah, Evan Stewart, Moose. They can compete it. with anybody. Oh, nice move by Johnson. Spins out of harm's way, completes the pass. And a touchdown for Moose. Leaving Moose tracks all over that defense.
another one for the talented receiving core. Moose said, let me get in on the party. He just runs a little option route and just kind of like works back to the outside. He was going across the field from the slot. He sees Max Johnson spin out the field goal off the foot of Randy Bond. Had one blocked earlier from 48 yards out. This one coming from 39. And he knocks it through to make it 52 to 10. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.